So all of you welcome to the session. Today we are going to talk about solar constant. Let us see what is solar constant and how can we measure this solar constant. Okay. So here solar constant means the amount of solar energy, the amount of solar energy received per minute from the sun by unit area of a perfectly black surface held perpendicular to the rays of the sun in the absence of atmosphere and uh, placed at a mean distance of the earth from the sun. Let us see once again the amount of solar energy received per minute from the sun by unit area of a perfectly black surface held perpendicular to the rays of the sun in the absence of atmosphere and placed at a mean distance of the earth from the sun. See there, so how can we find out this solar constant? Here, the instrument devised for determining the solar constants are called pyrheliometers. So let us see what is pyrheliometer. See, uh, this is what angstrom pyrheliometer, which was designed by the angstrom to measure the solar constant. Okay, see, uh, if you observe carefully what this instrument contain. See there, uh, angstrom pyrheliometer consists of two thin, exactly similar, similar blackened strips. See there, uh, this A and B are the strips. This A and B, A and B are the strips. Okay, so which are prepared by platinum or manganese. Okay, these two strips are, these two strips are suitably mounted so that strip A is, strip A is exposed to solar radiation, so falling, falling normally on it, which is where the, where A is placed, where A is exposed to the sun rays, so that all the sun rays are falling on this plate. Okay, now, and where, if you take B, where B is shielded by, where B is shielded by a screen S. See there, uh, this uh, where B, it is a strip which is covered with a shield. Okay, it is covered with shield S. Strip B is heated electrically. See there, strip B is heated electrically. Okay, that means what, what I am doing here, strip B is connected to the circuit. Strip B is connected to the circuit where the circuit contains battery and we know that ammeter, we know that rear start and the key is there and uh, where V is voltmeter, with the help of voltmeter, we can measure voltage drop at a strip B and where we can use again here a pair of copper constant and thermo junctions are fixed behind A and B, A and B through a galvanometer G, through a galvanometer G. Okay, so here these are the elements what we are taking in this pyre heliometer. Right, so as this exposed strip A, here, here see there A is there and sun rays are falling on the strip A. Now which is exposed, to, exposed strip A gains solar energy. When the sun rays falls on the strip, immediately the strip acquires, strip gains solar energy. The galvanometer shows deflection because of, because of the current due to uh, increase in temperature of A. See there, when strip A gains solar energy, so immediately the temperature of strip A is raised. As a result, what happened? Where the current is generated due to this current and where galvanometer, uh, there is a deflection takes place in the galvanometer due to the current flowing through the circuit. Okay. Now, so what I am doing? So now what I am doing? By switching on the electric current. See there, where, with the help of tap here with the help of key and when we close the key and current is passing through the circuit. This current is connected to the, this circuit is connected to the strip B. So as a result what happened when the current is flowing through the strip B, so what happened its temperature of the strip also increases. The temperature of strip B also increases. That means uh, it's a strength. We know that, that the strength of the current in the strip B is adjusted with the help of rear start. By rotating this rear start, we can adjust the current flowing through this strip B. So now what I am doing, after certain time when the current is flowing by adjusting the rear start, so what happened? So we can adjust the current flowing through the circuit to uh, get the deflection of galvanometer is zero. That means what, what I am doing here, here when the strength is adjusted with help of rheostat until the deflection of galvanometer is annulled. 
is annulled that means nullified nullified that means what uh, deflection zero deflection showed in the galvanometer okay by increasing the current with the help of rheostat by adjusting the current in the strip b with the help of rheostat so what happen so until we get we can adjust the current through this strip until we can get uh, zero deflection in the galvanometer that means nullified that means annul nullified or annulled or annulled under these conditions under these conditions the temperature of a and b are same see that the temperature a and b are same so when the galvanometer initially what happen when the sun rays falls on the strip a so where the strip a gains the thermal energy that means it gains the energy uh, and as a result what happened temperature of strip a is increased so as a result so current takes place in the circuit so current flow takes place in the circuit and the deflection occurred in the galvanometer so that is what first step now what i am doing i am switch on the circuit when the current is flowing through the circuit so what happens slowly the temperature of strip b is increases okay slowly the temperature of the strip, uh, strip b is increases and voltage is measured with the help of voltmeter which is connected here okay so now how much extent we can increase the current through this circuit so that means when we until we can get the zero deflection of galvanometer until we can get zero deflection of galvanometer so we can increase the current through this strip so as soon as we can get the zero deflection in the galvanometer zero deflection means annulled or nullified or zero deflection takes place in the galvanometer so at the time uh, we must know that the temperature of a and b are same the temperatures of a to p and to b are same same from the known values sir from the known values of the current so here we measured current through the ammeter and the potential difference we measured here with the help of voltmeter okay the heat supplied to b and hence the solar energy absorbed per second by a okay so that is what solar constant can be obtained solar constant can be obtained by the following formula here i am using solar constant formula s equal to v i into 60 by a a joule per meter square and minute that means what what is a there area of the strip area of this strip and what is small a there coefficient of absorption the small a is the coefficient of absorption and what is i there currents measured by the ammeter current measured by the ammeter and where v is what their potential drop across the strip b okay potential drop across the strip b so with the help of this formula with the help of known values of potential drop and the current passing through the circuit so by substituting all these values in the formula we can measure solar constant okay we can measure solar constant right all right so now the value of solar constant obtained on the surface of the earth has to be corrected for the effect of absorption of solar radiation by the atmosphere okay if s is absurd if s is the this s is the absurd value s is absurd value of solar constant and uh, where i'm taking s not where i'm taking s not is the value of solar constant is the value of the solar constant the relation between s and s not this is the actual value and this is what measured value the relation between them can be written as s equal to s not into a to the power of sec z okay s equal to s not into a to the power of sec z where z is called zenith uh, distance that means what angular altitude angular altitude otherwise zenith distance of the sun zenith distance of the sun we know that what is a what is a there we know that coefficient of absorption what is z there zenith distance of the sun and we know that what is a not actual solar constant and what is s there absurd solar constant so with the help of this one we can measure the solar constant right so here the graph is like this and uh, on the x axis we can take sec z and uh, on the y axis uh, we'll take their logarithm s not and the curve between them can be get like this can be get like this okay so the distance from here to here can represents logarithm s not and uh, from after uh, after this one uh, on the y axis can be log s
okay log s so this is the angstrom pyrheliometer so with the help of this one we can measure solar constant very simple very easy diagram if you know what what elements we are using here we just using two strips which are prepared with the magnesium or uh, uh, platinum and the one uh, and also we are using galvanometer voltmeter ammeter rheostat and the battery okay so very simple experiment okay angstrom pyrheliometer